英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com The family in Kyoto. One Japanese girl got freedom. Written by Hitemi Woods. Narrated by Hitemi Woods. Made me free. A long time ago, when Japan had the feudal system, my family was a landlord of the area. It has come to a complete downfall over the years, but my family still clings to its past glory. For them, to succeed the family is critical. I'm first born and have no brother. Which meant that I was a successor and destined to spend the whole life in my hometown. But music changed everything. To pursue a career in music, my hometown was too rural and I had to move out. Back then, I was a college student and moving to a city meant dropping out of school. My parents fiercely opposed, but as usual, they left the matter to my grandfather, who controlled the family. Considering his way to keep a tight rein, everybody, including myself, thought he might kill me. I could have run away, but I wanted to tell him for once what I want to do for my life. He answered right away, You can go. He added, You earned it by yourself. I've watched you all your life and I know you. That's why I let you do what you want. Although I had always looked for a way to get rid of him, it was him who made me free and what I am now. Audiobook Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. The Family in Kyoto. One Japanese Girl Got Freedom. Written by Hitomi Woods. Narrated by Hitomi Woods. One hundred years old. My grandfather used to say that he would live until one hundred years old. When I was a child and lived with him, I hated him. He was a dictator of my family. My grandmother, my parents, my younger sister, and I lived with him, cowering and flattering him. Because we were afraid of him. He wielded absolute power over us, and nobody could oppose him. We needed his permission for anything. For instance, when I wanted a puppy, my plea was rejected because he said, This is my house. As a child, I thought his existence immensely violated my freedom. And was hoping that he would not live so long. He liked going out and sometimes took me to a department store. It had never been a pleasant outing. He was stingy. He would go to a department store just for browsing without buying anything, wearing a ragged jacket and worn out shoes. For lunch, He would order the lowest priced dish and share it with me. And he would tell me to fill my stomach with tea because tea was free there. 
he couldn't make it to 100 and passed away at the age of 96. My family agrees that I'm the one who had the character just like him. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. The Family in Kyoto One Japanese Girl Got Freedom Written by Hitemi Woods Narrated by Hitemi Woods If you don't want to. From kindergarten to the lower grades, I had suffered from insomnia. I hated going to kindergarten and then to school too strongly to sleep on school nights. As the morning to go there approached, I felt more and more nervous and tense. I would be wide awake in futon no matter how eager I was to fall asleep, watching glittering patterns on the back of my eyelids for hours. Tears ran through my cheeks into my ears during those long nights. When it dawned and the room was filled with the gray of the morning, I could finally doze a while. I slept beside my grandparents, as my parents were occupied with my little sister in a different room. Before going to sleep, I would try to be near my mother as long as I could, because she used to be the last one that retreated to her bedroom at night. But soon, I was to be prodded into going to my grandparents' room to sleep. I once found the courage to confide to my mother that I was having insomnia. She scoffed at it and said anyone could sleep by just closing his or her eyes. Her advice was to close my eyes. I wondered how dumb she thought I was since I did so to sleep every night. She didn't take it seriously and so I kept staying awake on weeknights secretly. Sunday nights were the worst. The thought that a long week at school would start next morning made it undoubtedly impossible for me to sleep. My grandparents used to watch TV in futon before going to sleep. Their favorite drama was on Sunday nights, and the end of the drama meant my grandmother fell asleep. I can still hear in my ears the sad tune of the drama's ending. My grandfather would read a little after that. When the light by his pillow was turned off was a signal that he would also go to sleep and I would be left alone awake in futon. One night... He noticed I wasn't asleep in the middle of the night. You're still awake, he was surprised. I confessed that I couldn't sleep, and he simply said, Don't sleep then. While I couldn't believe what I had just heard, he explained, You don't have to sleep if you don't want to. I had never thought that way. I didn't have to sleep. Like magic, his words cured my insomnia, and I have fallen asleep easily ever since. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. ご視聴ありがとうございました。88thpp.com88thpp.com88thpp.com
Thank you.